loves welcome back to my channel my name is alexandrina marie and today is an awesome and exciting video as you can tell from the title today we're going to be creating a media kit with me i thought it'd be a great idea and from the feedback from my last video it'll be a great idea to go over what is a media kit ways of creating a media kit and what is in a media kit and today we're going to use be using I believe canva is a great resource it has not only things you can create a media kit but youtube thumbnails and much much more but today we're focusing on a media kit so let's get into it okay so signing into canva you can sign in with your google or an email i chose google this time and i'm signing up as this as if i'm a new um, account so I'm signing in and this is what it looks like when you sign in for the first time and when you're looking for a media kit in the search just type in media kit and we're going to be looking for a media kit and the social media platform that I am going to have a media kit for is of course YouTube so I'm looking for one that kind of aligns with what I'm looking for with YouTube now as you can see as I'm scrolling down there's some that have this little crown and those are the ones that of the paid version I currently have a paid version but for this tutorial I am using um, the free you know templates that they offer so right now I'm just looking for one that that's aesthetically pleasing and one that kind of has the information that I need for um, showcasing um, my YouTube. So I chose this one. I think this one's really nice. It's got everything I need. And you and it's what's really nice about Canva is that you can update the name the pictures the information in there is is just a template for you to see how it will look but you can make it your own okay so first let's start by updating the name I'm gonna choose this is fictional um, I'm gonna choose Jasmine mm, page there we go. Then here you can update, you know, your influencer. She has a, she's a co-founder of a company. I'm going to keep that because it kind of co coincides to what I am anyway. <laughs> and here you can showcase um, what type of, you know, what are your influencer of? So um, for this example, I'm Jasmine Page and I like this feature first of all it's called magic right and you can it's kind of like it's AI built in which is nice so it can give you it can you know you could write something there and it can help you um, with creating you know polishing it up a little bit better for you if you so choose to use it you don't have to but for this example I am going to use it so I can show you how it works. So let's start with a little introduction here. Just introdu introducing yourself to a prospective brand, who you are, what um, you are promoting. You know, if you're a lifestyle vlogger or you do a review vlogger, you do a multiple different things. This is where you would put that information. Now I like this section here because it kind of showcases the brands that you've currently working with. If you're working with any brands, you can put that information here. Um, I just put Target. <laughs> I didn't want to put the name. <laughs> That's just an example anyway, but yeah, I thought that was really nice that if you're, um, you know, a, a YouTube creator and you've have some brand deals or brands that you've already you know working with or have worked with you can put those here so the nice way to showcase the different versatility of the brands that 
you work with. And here you can put like the percentage of clicks that you're receiving. But since it's YouTube, I'm going to change this up a little and I'm going to use um, the demographic, you know, like if you're 65% male or 65% female, uh, I think that would be a little bit better. So I'm going to update that to um, we're going to do demographics. So I'm going to put what type of demographics I'm female here. I do like the fact that you can customize the templates and so much. It has a little guide. This is another awesome. Um, so if you have Canva already, if you didn't know that you can create a media kit, well, here you go. And for those who are um, don't have Canva or new or thinking about um, using Canva, this is a great little introduction of all the things that uh, one of the many things Canva can offer, which is templates for a media kit. Which I think it's pretty cool in itself. Media kits are uh, plays a crucial part when you're introducing yourself to a brand. It's a nice snapshot of who you are as a content creator, what type of content creator you are, the platform or platforms that you um, do content creation for and with. So, yeah, this is having a media kit is one of the best things you can have in your arsenal as um in as a um content creator it's very helpful and like i said it's the first you know first impressions are key so this is the first impression for your brand so right now i'm just looking in my computer to see want to update the picture that's here in the template with a picture of my own okay so I found a picture that I really like I think it'll be a nice little picture um, for this example <laughs> I chose this one but as you can see it has a background and it for the free version you can't use the background remover so let's change that I'm going to log out and log back into a paid account of mine so I can show you this feature because I think this feature is well worth the money. <laughs> okay, so to use the background remover feature, you just click on background remover button up here and it's, see, it's super easy. I didn't have to do anything. Sometimes you can play around the background image, the background color, but I like the background color that's already there. But see, pretty simple. I love this little feature on here because sometimes you don't want the background behind you. Um, why are you doing anything? But these are awesome as well because these are your services that you'll list and your prices. So here I will put like, you know, for a dedicated video or for um, a mention in a video or for a short, um, I would put those there and then the prices I will update to the prices that you um, charge for those services. And here you can put some milestones if you have, you know, maybe 5,000 likes recently or um you've you've hit a milestone for a thousand upload videos you can you can showcase that there i like the fact that you can also change the coloring around of the media kit maybe you don't want that color scheme you can pick a different color scheme as well when you're um, designing your um, media kit And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to create a media kit using Canva. I hope it was informative and you learned a lot about 
what makes up a media kit, what goes in a media kit, and the, diff and the ways of using a media kit with a brand. I've used media kits and it's helped me a lot with securing brand deals because it's a nice snapshot of who you are as a content creator, uh, different type of content that you create, and it also lists the products are services as well as the prices that you charge for each one so the brands have a good idea of who you are and your prices for various products and services that you offer so thank you so much for watching all the way up to this point and sticking with me so far I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I drop another vlog. Again, uh, leave comments down below if you have used media kits before and how you use them as a content creator or you're just starting out as a content creator and you are using media kits or would like to create a media kit. Again, today's media kit was created by Canva. I'm a current paid subscriber of Canva and love it a lot. So I just wanted to share it with my loves tools that I use for making media kit. So again, thank you so much. Until next time. Bye.